on tonight. We've wasted enough time. <laughs> uh, tonight we've got Karen Jones joining us to talk about Google Sites Day. Uh, I'm going to let him tell us what it actually is uh, and you know, everything else. Let's get along here. Well, now the camera. Give the camera a big hand. Thanks, guys. My hands are already quite big, so it wasn't really necessary, but okay. <laughs> they are. Uh, audio all good, everyone? Yep. Sweet. Um, so, yeah, tonight I am talking about Google Site Kit, and I'll just bring up my slides. So, um, who here has heard of Google Site Kit? Uh, a couple of people, cool. Yeah, so it was announced uh, late last year that Google were working on a WordPress plugin that would bring some of their um, suite of products into your WordPress sites. Um, so who here um, uses any of these um, products from Google? Hands up. Most of the room, cool. Um, keep your hands up if you also use a, have a WordPress site that you're using those products on. Mostly the same people, cool. So Google Site Kit allows you to set up analytics, tag manager, search console, AdSense, PageSpeed, Insights, and optimize all within your WordPress website, which is really cool. Um, there's been plenty of other plugins that you know you can add those sorts of things in already, but it's nice to have something official from Google at last. Uh, they just released the beta about a month ago, and that's what I'll be um, demonstrating tonight. Um, so yeah, first of all, they've got analytics. Um, I assume that most people are fairly familiar with analytics. It lets you see what users are doing on your site in real time. You can see like what your most popular content is, and track conversions and e-commerce and that sort of thing. Um, Google Tag Manager, which is like a container for analytics and other tracking codes. So instead of having to update your website's code every time that your marketing team wants to add another script from like Hotjar or HubSpot or something like that, you can stick it all in Tag Manager. So um, you don't have to edit any website code. It's a lot safer and it's a lot easier to update and configure. Um, Search Console, which helps um, show how Google sees your site in their eyes. So it, sees, it shows you like how well it's ranking and um, if you've got broken links and that sort of thing on your site and stuff that might um, Google might flag as a problem. Uh, AdSense, which is something that lets you display ads on your site so you can get recurring revenue and um, we all like having more money, so yay. And PageSpeed Insights, which is Google's um, platform that uh, monitors how long sites take to load and gives you like recommendations and that sort of thing as to how to make your, your website faster. Alrighty, and Optimize, which is the last one. It's, this one's a relatively new one, so you may or may not have heard of it. But what it does is it lets you set up A-B tests and other sorts of tests on your website um, and do that similar to Tag Manager in a way that's all on, um, in the Google interface and so you don't have to edit any code in your website. You can just set it all up there, which is really cool. And so now I'm going to um, do some demos on like what it looks like and how to install it. Um, so first of all, I've got this website here. It's a documentation website for my plugins. And so you can see here, I've got it like installed already. And there's this dashboard widget that you can see down the bottom here. So it's showing me that there's a lot of people. And I think that's mostly ghost spam because that seems like an awful lot for a fairly new site. Um, but you can see like the most popular content over the last month. So it's saying that, um, Pretty sure that one's the home page. Yep, the home page is the most popular, which makes sense. Um, and then yeah, ranks my top five just there in the dashboard widget. And shows me like how people, have, um, how long people are staying on the page, how many times it showed up in search. Um, so if we go into the site kit dashboard, it gives you a little bit more information. So you can see where all your traffic's come from. And at the moment, it says it's all coming direct, so that's probably all just me. Um, how often it showed up in search, just a couple times. And apparently, you can get 630 visitors from 13 impressions. I'm not sure how that works. Like I said, I'm assuming that's ghost spam. Um, you can see what people are searching for that your website shows up for. So my popular 
Facebook plugin um, is what people are searching for and it's coming up the most. Um, you can see which pages are viewed the most in a bit more detail. So rather than just the top five that were showing in that dashboard widget. Um, you can put in an individual URL there and um, you can see data for that page and I'll also show you another way to look at the um, data for an individual page as well. And down the bottom it's got the speed, so it's saying that 82 and 87 out of 100, so that's pretty good, although it could be a bit better. Um, saying it's taking three and a half seconds to load, so I should probably do something about that. But I'll, I'll blame WordPress because it's using the 2019 theme. Um, so if we were to go to a page, and I'll just load up the home page. Um, so you'll see up here there's this new site kit option in the admin bar. And so now that's showing me stats for that website, um, web page. So it's telling me that no one's clicked on it in search, console, um, in search results, so that's very sad. But it has showed up once, which is something, I guess. Um, still gathering data, apparently. And if you click more details, it should give me more, yeah, it gives me more data just on that page. So you can see that same data again, one impression, no clicks, see where they came from. Um, it would show me the top queries if people were actually clicking on it in search results. But they're not, so I'm very sad. Um, so that's what it looks like um, and some of the uh, data you can view. Um, does anyone have any questions about it at the moment? Cool. Um, so now I'll go through setting it up on a new website. So um, if you're wanting to um, put analytics on a website or any of those other Google services or you want to move over to Google's official plugin now that it's available rather than using you know, some, one that someone else has built, um, you might want to do this. So this is a little side project I've got that I'll just log in. So yeah, this is just a little side project I have that lets you watch YouTube videos on another website. Um, not very useful unless you use LASFM. But I have a different analytics plugin running on this website. And so I'll demonstrate switching it over. And it's hot spotting off my phone, so it might be a little slow. OK, so yeah, I've got this Google Analytics by WebKindler plugin. So that's what I'm using to put analytics on my site at the moment. And that good? Yeah. All right, sweet. Um, so yeah, I'm using this Google Analytics by WebKindler plugin. And so I want to put the new SiteKit plugin on instead. Um, so it is in um, beta. It's not, not on the WordPress repository or anything. So you will have to go to um, this website here, sitekit.withgoogle.com. And if you click Get the Developer Beta, um, there is a download button there, which you can download it. Uh, I won't do that because I've already downloaded it. But that's where you can find it. Um, so I'll just upload the plugin. Um, WordPress plugins, Google Site Kit. And so upload and install. Sometime today would be nice. Oh, fine. Okay, well, that didn't work. <laughs> Tested it the other day and it was fine. Um, all right, well, I'll test it on a staging site then. So do I, I should have it here. Nope. Oh, okay, cool. So I'll upload it. To, oh no, I do. So 
I will just go and reset that, so hopefully it will work. All right, so once you um, install and activate the plugin, this is the screen you'll come to. Um, hopefully that like should have worked, but it didn't, so. Um, yeah, it asks you for some OAuth um, configuration, so you just click on this link, and that will bring up um, this web page here, and then it tells you the details about your website, and then you click Get OAuth Credentials. And it'll load for a little bit. So it's given us some OAuth JSON that we can copy and paste into that text box that, that was on the last page. So paste it in there. Um, and then click Proceed. And that it'll now ask us to uh, authenticate with Google. And it'll ask us for some permissions. So it wants to view Search Console data and see the list of sites I have in Search Console, which is cool. And it'll verify, and there we go. And so now it's ready to use. And so, um, connected Search Console by default just by uh, installing it. Um, hasn't connected Analytics or any of that yet. So if I go to put Analytics on the site, um, it, you will have to give it more permissions. So um, we only gave it access to Search Console the first time, so now it's saying, hey, I want to see your Google, Anix, uh, Google Analytics data. Um, so yeah, give it permission to do that. So now it's loading, and it should give me um, an option to pick what site I'm putting the analytics on. Um, okay. Is it on the right account? It is. Okay, it's being annoying. I literally tested this like yesterday. Uh. Nope, okay. So it would normally come up with a list of all your Google Analytics accounts and you would just pick the, um, like the account that you want to track to insert on that website and click OK and it's as simple as that. Um, the uh, live demo gods are not smiling upon me tonight, unfortunately. Um, I'll see. Yep. That will basically drag into the actual um, site kit what you'd normally do down on Google. You know. Yep. Yep. So um, back on this page where I've already got it set up. Um, yeah. So yeah, I can see the you know, analytics in depth for that site and for yeah, individual pages. The reporting side, I mean, yeah. it actually allows you to basically auto do what you have to remember where to get into and do each thing like if you're not mapped, but um, yeah, analytics, you have to go into your account for your analytics and then drag out the ortho codes and everything. Yeah, like yeah. Not, so this will drag it straight through. Yeah, it just gives you a drop down and you pick which one to use and yeah, it just nice. injects it. So yeah, it takes all the hassle out of trying to set it up yourself. Um, so I'll try and set up um, Tag Manager or something. It is in beta. Uh, beta for a reason. Yeah, it is in beta. Um, uh, well, it, it's live now. You can run it on a production site. I don't know when they plan to like have the official 1.0. Um, like it only just came out in beta a month ago. Um, and they released it, um, announced it in December. So it's it's been a long time coming. Um, and yeah, it's, it still feels a little incomplete. Like there's there's some things like for example, it will put like your analytics or your tag manager on every single page. Like no matter like who's viewing it or something. Like I know for me, if I'm building like a personal project site, I don't want to track my own usage when I'm logged in because you know that's like abnormal. But um, like they don't have an option for that yet. So like I can see there's a lot of room for adding new features and stuff. And yeah, so I'm not sure like when they would have any sort of official 1.0 release. But it's it's certainly there and available, and you can use it on production sites now. Um, so if I try and set it up with this. Uh, Hopefully, this will work. Get an API key.
Same sort of thing again. Copy and paste that. And there we are. So um, page speed does normally take a little while, especially if it's not a site that has much in um, like it, that's been recorded before. So like this is just a staging site, there, so there's not going to be much that shows up there. But um, if you were to look at it on a site where it's already set up, oop, not that one. Um, yeah, you can see the details here is what it would start displaying. Um, yeah, so unfortunately that, that didn't work as well as I would have wanted, um, but that's a general overview of what um, Google Site Kit can do. And yeah, it's a, a Google's official plugin for WordPress that they've just um, released in beta. Um, and yeah, if you want to uh, start using it now, just go to uh, sitekit.withgoogle.com and you can download it today and give it a try on your websites. Thanks. So yeah, hit me with any questions. Ideally about this, but about anything WordPress. <laughs> yes? Does it slow your site down? Uh, not that I've noticed, but I do only have it on a rather minor site at the moment. But um, it all seems to be like running everything like only when you request it. So like it doesn't seem to be running too much in the background. So yeah, not that I've noticed. And certainly not, I wouldn't expect any more than another third party analytics or equivalent plugin. Yes? Yes. Yeah, so, so. This is also feeding the uh, analytics code. Yes. In. Yep. Yep. So if you're running another analytics um, plugin and you want to switch over to this one, you'll have to um, deactivate it. Otherwise, you know, you'll be tracking twice. Um, and if you put Tag Manager on on this one and you have analytics on as well, you have to go in and then turn the analytics off. Otherwise, it will also track it twice if you've got analytics in the Tag Manager, which is a bit annoying, but. Yeah, so if you've got another analytics plugin, turn that off once you've got this set up. Yes, Luke? What's your opinion on the Google material design appearing so prominently inside the WordPress app? Um, I like it. Like, I feel like it's like a nice middle ground between like what feels normal to WordPress and what feels normal to Google. Like. Maybe I'm just so familiar with Google stuff that it just feels normal, like, yeah, it, it feels fine to me. It's, it's a bit different to like most of the other stuff that I've dealt with in WordPress, but yeah, it feels natural, so yeah, I'm okay with it. Yeah? Have you noticed any clashes with other plugins or anything? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, I haven't like used it too much to like kind of notice that yet. Um, like obviously, if you do have another plugin that's doing the same sort of thing, it might like double up records or conflict in some way. Uh, but not that I've noticed at this stage. No, like there probably will be somewhere along the line that someone's got, you know, some plugin that does. But yeah, nothing that I've noticed. Cool. So. Um, yeah, looks like that's all. Uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to come up and talk to me afterwards. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Cameron. Okay, we've uh, kind of wrapped up a bit early. We're still waiting for uh, the Domino's cook our pizzas. <laughs> so while we're waiting, uh, has anybody got any other WordPress questions? Anything burning in your minds that you want to know? I'm not going to have the answer, but ask away.